Okay, here we have a circuit that's been breadboarded to actuate a standard RC car servo based on a simple 1 to 5 volt analog signal. So we're using a set of comparators and transistors to determine whether or not to send power to the motor one direction or another. We're using an uh, H-bridge, a 4 transistor H-bridge circuit. And so if you see my screwdriver right here focused on the potentiometer, that's generating my 1 to 5 volt signal. And then over here, my servo is actually moving in accordance with the screwdriver. So I'm going to pull out so you can see both moving at the same time. The servo is kind of walking along here as I turn it back and forth. The goal of this is to take this RC car servo, which is very inexpensive. I can pick these up for about $10 a piece, and they're quite powerful. I want to take these and set them up with a circuit that would uh, power them back and forth based on a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Right now we're simulating this, or driving I should say, with a 1 to 5 volt DC analog voltage signal. But if we just replace that potentiometer with a 250 ohm fixed resistor and pass 4 to 20 milliamps through it, that will generate the same 1 to 5 volt signal to position this. What th this gives me now is an electrically uh, powered actuator that I can put on a control valve, like a 90 degree turn ball valve or something like that, or a damper or a louver. And now I've got a cheap, easy to work on, uh, powerful electric actuator that I can use in small instrumentation projects. Because when I build projects in my lab with my students uh, for learning purposes, the most expensive piece that we have to purchase for the project is always the control valve. I can get transmitters and sensors donated from industry pretty easily. And we also have inexpensive PID controllers that we have right now by programming the PLC with a, a PID routine. However, what I don't have is a simple, cheap valve. Valves that come in the sizes I need for my pilot plant type experiments typically are very expensive, around $1,000 a piece. But if I can get a garden variety ball valve, attach it to a $10 servo, and make it work with a circuit which we can put on a PCB for another $10 or $20, now we're talking about something that's much more affordable. So that's the whole idea of this project. And one of my students here uh, did the prototyping work and got this whole thing working. So the next step is to take this and translate it to a printed circuit board. Make some printed circuit boards and uh, keep them in a really small form factor and then uh, see how easily we can mass produce these things and use them in our lab.